firstly, there's no escaping it. There is, um, well, friction to say the least within the FAI. Before we get on to the broad picture, can we just start with something which has arisen in the last 24 hours? In effect, yourself and Gary Owens came out and did a press conference yesterday and appealed for unity. There is a rescue package which needs official approval from FAI members. On the point of the rescue package itself, eight board members released a statement last night saying that they never approved this package back in January. Is that the case? Oh, well, look, um, I'm not on the board and I'm not uh, qualified enough to go into the detail of what happened there, but I think you'll, you'll see if you look back at, uh, at um, press announcements by members of that board that, uh, um, and our president in particular that uh, they knew all about it and it's, um, it's just a real difficult one to take after all, you know, we're looking for unity. The game has to come together now. There's a huge decision to make. And the divide that's exposed itself last night, very late last night, is, um, is something I think the public are getting fed up of. I think that uh, propaganda that's going on, uh, it's time to stop. The game has to unite now more than ever. And I think uh, it, it, it has um, to fix issues. There's no doubt about that uh, and make sure that all sides are happy. I think this 6v6 narrative that has come out has to be six plus six. Remember, it's for the good of the game. Mm. But remember too, Joe, that the EGM, and what that means is the constituents all over Ireland, they're members of the FAI, there are 202 of them, are the ones who will decide what's right or wrong. Mm. Playing a propaganda game in the meantime is helping nobody. It is damaging the brand. It is uh, putting doubts, I'm sure, in the mind of government, and in particular taxpayers who really want to know what's going on. The time for that propaganda is over. Mm. Uh, I think the public demands that. And I think the, uh, the only answer is to get together, avail of this benefit that will come our way to save the association and to give it the platform to build on and then work together. Um, this them and us has to, has to stop now. It certainly has to stop before the 31st of August mm. because those constituents then will be put in a, in a position where they'll be forced to either uh, accept the benefits of a, of a package and uh, a new way of governance and reform or be left, you know, to, a, to a, a wild west where we don't know what could happen. And what would happen in, in my eyes would be we would be letting down the very lifeblood of the game. We'd be letting down grassroots, we would be letting down coaches, players, volunteers. And something close to me, we would be letting down 200 staff at Abbottstown who I've seen over the last six months working in the most difficult of circumstances. Mm. Talented people who believe in football, who go in every day to further their careers in football, who want to give uh, and, and, and grow and, and, and climb up the ladder mm. in the football world. And we should be providing that. We should be providing lots more than we do. What we're providing right now is a narrative that the public are fed up of. And okay. uh, the quicker unity comes along uh, and that people can act sensibly and vote on the issue and not propaganda, the better. Um, it's time to grow up. That's four times you use the word propaganda. So I interpret that as dirty tactics and a bending of the truth. Mm -hmm. In whose interests are these eight board members acting in? What's their motivation? Well, well, What's going on here? I think, you, again, as I say, I'm not on the board. I don't go to board meetings and you'll have to, uh, you'll have to ask them yourself on that. But I suppose where I'm coming from is outside looking in, I'm sure people are saying, what the hell is going yeah. on? Get your act together. And it's all of us have to. You know, I mean, there was a, there was a, an olive branch of sorts spoken about yesterday. Gary and I spoke about the fact that, for instance, the casting vote which was taken from the president last year, can be returned by mm. the 202 volunteers. These are all things that if you discuss and talk your way through, I'm sure we can come to a sensible conclusion. And Roy Bart's meeting the council tomorrow to assuage fears in that regard. So, but well, it, 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 these seem, seem like simple points. And yet we have a statement arriving last night at a very delicate time. You have 200 mm. members voting, critical vote, doomsday scenario. And yet we have a real muddying of the waters here. Like Mark McSharry, Fianna Fáil TD, he's described the last six months as uh, there being a grubbiness to them. He said there's yeah. a grubbiness. And he, he's talking about you, he's talking about Gary Owens, he's talking mm -hmm. about Roy Barrett here. Yeah, and I think it's, it's interesting to look back and see the statement he made the day that the, uh, that the MOU was announced and how happy he was. And everybody seemed to be very happy that, uh, that Roy Barrett had gone and negotiated a wonderful deal to save Irish football. Um, months later, uh, I suppose, a narrative has developed. And... Uh, the narrative is that this is almost a takeover. Yeah, and that um, football people of which I apparently am not one, which uh, bemuses me because I'm 37 years in the game, that football people are being left out and that independents were going to come in and, and, and uh, I suppose, upset the sovereignty of the game. Mm. Nothing could be further from the truth. The 202 people uh, on August the 31st will decide exactly what happens. And uh, there is nothing wrong 
with that six and six coming together for the best interests in football and we all start to turn our head the right way around now mm. and look at the game, look at the people who need this uh, coming together, look at what this, this uh, benefit is. There are 62 million reasons why this vote has to go the right way mm. and after that we can decide who sits in what positions, who drives the game forward, the CEO will be announced. Out of the, the, all, these are all things that this, ultimately this EGM will either back or not. And they can change as time goes on. Mm. I think we should come together right now and forget about all the, the, uh, the narratives and as I, I call it propaganda because that's what it appears to be. And uh, let's get on with the game. Mm. Because Gary Owens yesterday was very clear. Looking at a doomsday scenario if this doesn't pass. Yeah, I think that had to be out there and people had to understand, you know, that this isn't, uh, you know, a, a decision that's based on something that, well, if it doesn't uh, come true, mm. you know, OK, we'll see what plan B is. There isn't a plan B. It is a doomsday scenario because we owe money and we don't have the money to pay it back. We owe wages to our staff. We won't have the money to pay wages. And all of the grants and all of the different parts of the game that we would be expected to fulfil, mm. we can't do that either. And of course, COVID-19 hasn't helped. Sure. It's in a terrible time. So for the, uh, for the skirmishes that are going on to have, uh, to have kept... Uh, going during this time in the most difficult of time. It doesn't augur well on the association. I don't think we look good in public. As I said before, the public are fed up at this stage. And I think it's, uh, it's high time we did the right thing for the game. OK, and just a last one. I mean, what happens... So just to get a sense of the mood in there, this statement arrives last night. I can imagine your reaction. I'd say the cat, the cat got a kick. Um, like, does anyone ring up those eight board members and, and say... Well, can, I, can not me. So, not you, yeah. OK. But yeah. does that, who does it, we've got to sort this out. We can't be having this kind of public fiasco going on. Mm -hmm. what, what, what do you do and what do we do and how can we sort this? Oh, well, I hope that's exactly what's happening okay. right now because, um, as I said, if we start thinking about why we're here in the first place, we're here for the good of the game, not the good of ourselves. Okay.